In this video, we'll make a Christmas ornament of a Pac-Man ghost. Start by modeling a block 8 foot by 8 foot by 16 feet tall to model on. Then group it and set it to a front view. Next, draw the ruffle. Use the two-point arc, make it one foot long, and drag the bulge down until the inference says half circle. Then do the same thing in the opposite direction. Group them together. Then click on the Move tool, hit the Control key, drag and click a copy at the other end, then type forward slash 3. We want the ruffle to be symmetrical at both ends, so open the group editing box and delete that one arc. Now draw the sides of the ghost. Draw a line upon which to click the two-point arc again, and then drag it up until you see the half-circle inference. Explode the groups at the bottom. Then erase everything you don't need. You're left with just an outline, so use the Make Face extension to fix that. Get it from the extension warehouse, and it works by selecting and then clicking on that tool. Then reverse the face so that the normal or white part faces out, which is important for 3D printing. Now flesh this out. I push pulled forward four feet, used the offset tool to make a border three feet, and push pulled the border out two feet. Then group it all. And note that when you click on the Entity Info box, you'll see it's a solid group. This is important because the solid tools only work on solid groups. Now make the eyes with the circle tool. Delete everything on the left side of that circle, and then push-pull it to the body. Group it, and note that it too is a solid group. Then with Move and Control, copy it. We need to combine the eyes and the body because they're all separate pieces. So use outer shell and click on the body and one eye and then the body on one eye again. And now they all move together. Now make a loop at the top. Draw two concentric circles, delete the middle, and push-pull. Click on the back edge so that the ring is the same width as the body. Then group it, and again note that it will be a solid group. Move the ring down into the body, 
hold the down arrow key on the keyboard to lock it along the blue inference. Then use the trim tool by clicking first on the ring, then on the body, to enable you to trim out everything in the middle of that ring. Open the editing box of the body and get rid of all that. Finally, use outer shell again to connect the ring to the body to weld them together. And now it's all one solid piece. Scale it as needed and then export it as an STL for 3D printing.